Now it's time for you to try. You'll notice that I've given you four elements. And what I want you to do is use your periodic table and look up how many protons, neutrons, and electrons that each of these elements have straight off of the chart. You'll want to pause the video because it'll take you a little bit to do the math. And we'll come back in a few minutes, see how you did. All right, let's check your work. I'm just going to do it in categories like this. It'll make it a little easier. Argon, you should have gotten 18 protons, 22 neutrons, and 18 electrons. Remember, protons and electrons equal each other because they're supposed to come out to zero. There's more neutrons this time. It really doesn't matter. Remember, you only get extra mass from your neutrons. Cobalt was the next one, 27 protons, 32 neutrons, and 27 electrons. Barium, 56 protons, 81 neutrons, way different number that time, but it's right, 56 electrons. You'll notice the protons and neutrons were close here, but as you start getting bigger atoms, you typically get a lot more neutrons. And so that number is a lot further away. Now, if you want to check yourself, you can always take this number and this number and add them together, and you get 137, and that's the way to bury them on the chart. So if you want to check yourself, the proton and neutron number should add back to be the number that you saw on the periodic table. And last but not least, uranium, 92 protons, 146 neutrons, and 92 electrons. If you can calculate these values and you got them on your own, you're set. We can move on to the next session. But if you missed one, you may want to go back and check your numbers off the periodic table. Remember, you have to take the decimal number and do normal rounding. If it's 0.5 or above, you round up. If it's 0.4 or below, you just drop the decimal. And those are the numbers that you use. This is how you count protons, neutrons, and electrons within the atom.